Hi, my name is Phil and I'm one of the animal care specialists here at Nutrition Services. And we're here today to give you a behind the scenes tour and walkthrough of what we do every single day here in the animal commissary. We're in charge of preparing all the diets for all the animals here at the zoo. We have a nutritionist and she is in charge of making sure that all the animals are getting the correct food, calorie wise, nutrition wise, just making sure everything is balanced. Whenever there is changes based on if an animal is to overweight, if it's underweight, needs to gain more, if it's pregnant and needs to nurse, we, you know, we can increase their diet that way. So we have a wide variety of different types of foods here. Since we have a wide variety of different kind of animals, you know, we got to make sure we get a lot of leafies, which are greens. We have a lot of different types of fruit, apple, so oranges, pineapples, papayas. We have a company that makes a whole complete diet for us that we give the birds and mix into their food. The birds also love the fruit herps. We have all the mice and rats for them, but also insects. So we have everything from crickets to mealworms to wax worms to night crawlers. We use quite a bit of food. I think we have over 3,000 different animals. Every week we go through about 22 cases of iceberg lettuce, seven cases of apples, two to three crates of green beans. Big cats probably get 30 to 40 pounds of meat every single day, just for them alone. And that's not even including you know, the bears who get 20 pounds of meat themselves. Twice a week we get deliveries of produce. Everything comes right from the markets. We're giving the animals pretty much the best quality of food that we can possibly give them. We have a nice giant walk-in freezer. We have multiple pallets of fish in there. We have different types of uh, meats. We have bones. Our frozen mice and rats are in there too. Most of it is sent over frozen, and then they do the thawing there in their department. We have carcasses for our wolves and for our wild dogs. Uh, a lot of the fish we buy years worth at a time and store it in an off-site facility. With meat, we try to buy a couple months at a time, and so we can have a couple pallets of the meat in the freezer. We do get specialty grains. We're in charge of all the feed for all the animals. Um, some are as simple as your regular dog food you can buy in the store, but we do get a lot of special diets, especially made for like primates. We also are in charge of all BE products, which is behavioral enrichment. People think of those as treats a lot of times too. Everything from your common, you know, peanut butters and jellies to cereals. We deliver the bulk food over and the keepers are in charge of divvying up the food to the different animals. We do some individual diets, the ones that we have more hands-on that we need to. We do a chopping day, which is where we take apples and sweet potatoes and carrots and we chop those into smaller pieces. And then on the other day, we do more individual diets. We have pan diets, which are, we make a herp salad. For our individual pan diets, we have a file on the computer that actually has all our diets and those in those pan diets, it all is weighed out in grams. So we are very exact on those kind of diets. On the bulk diets, you know, we do pounds. And if you're, you're a little over, in a, you know, by, you know, a, a point one of a pound, that's okay. But when we're doing individual diets, it's in grams, so it's more exact. Our big whiteboard in the kitchen has a whole bunch of different individual diets that we do with a nice rotation. We do those diets on the pan days also. For our produce, there is times that we do change it throughout the season. We have our nutritionist who has been working to trying to mimic diets more like they are in the wild. We try to give the animals something different every day. Just like with people, you don't want to eat the same thing every day. So a lot of the animal areas and a lot of the animals that we have are on a rotation of something different every day of fruits, veggies, starches, and greens. So every single day they get a little something different. We do apples one day, bananas the next day, seasonal fruit. If it's the same thing every day, then it becomes boring. So that's why we try to do a rotation. Every morning, we have to deliver all the food to all the animals that we prepared for the day before. So we work uh, sort of a day ahead, packing all the boxes. So all everything that we do in bulk, we are packing for the next day delivery. So when we drop everything off in the morning, there usually is some empties for us to take back. And then that way we can take those back to the building and refill them for the next day. We also do all the hay here at the zoo too. So we have one day that is designated for hay delivery. So if we spend the whole day just loading up the truck with all the different types of hay, straw, alfalfa, grass hay, bedding like shavings, bark chips, and we uh, take that around to the different animal areas and give them a week's worth at a time. We use a lot of different types of food and produce here. 
a lot of people would like to donate to us. And while we do appreciate that, most of the time we have to turn it all away. We can't control where all the food's coming from. The food that we currently get for all the animals from the, all our vendors is all controlled. Coming from anyone out in the public, we can't guarantee it'll be pesticide free. There wasn't any contaminants on it. We don't want to give the animals anything harmful whatsoever. It is very important here. Thank you for joining us on this behind the scenes tour. I hope you enjoyed it and thank you for your continued support.